We live a long distance to go to town, and many times we go up to again. People come and stop us and get all the things that we want. We are the mothers who keep the money in the billums, and when it is necessary, we take the uh, money out from our billums. Most of the time, you know, when we have uh, community obligations, we don't save. Me bank uh, facilitators, they came and gave us a training how to budget money and how to spend. In order to save the money, there's a mean bank here. 18 years, so they come and put their money into the bank. We are providing mobile banking. Every lady here, they don't know how to read the, the mobile, but they come here, we show them how to do it. One big thing is they see in the mobile that the money is coming back to them. We can transfer money with our mobile. I want to buy a chicken, and then I see the other association member has got it, so I just transfer my money to her and I go and pick the chicken and come and cook it. So we see that life is easy for us. <laughs> <laughs> Papua New Guinea has some cultural, uh, cultural issues, I would call it in that sense, where women in some of our societies um, have to defer to men. And we have to adjust to uh, modern ways that says women have as much right as men, women are just as capable as men. I think it's so important that women are given choices in life. It's important to empower women. Why? Because they're Papua New Guineans. They're citizens of this country. That's the primary uh, thing. Uh, what we have learned from this one and with the my bank here, we want many ladies to enjoy it too. And to save money or to help their own family living.